Welcome to this very special video testing memory cards for the brand new Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. So if you want to know which memory cards to get, both for video shooting and continuous shooting, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, before we begin, one very important disclaimer. What I've got here in my hands is a pre-production sample of the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. Anyway, the final firmware 1.0 is installed, so the results should be the same as with the final production model. Before I will tell you any more details about the camera, let me start the first test using the Sony TUF G series because, a little spoiler, it will take some time. So the camera is set up to 30 frames per second and can shoot 200 images in a row. That's what I did. So roughly seven seconds to shoot all the 200 images. Yeah, pretty impressive. And now the little but. So the camera has a really large image buffer, otherwise you couldn't shoot 200 raw images in a row but the memory card controller is a bit slow. It will take roughly a minute to save all the images onto the Sony TUF G series memory card. So it's kind of both good and a little bit bad in the same time. Good, you have a large image buffer, so the type of memory card you choose really doesn't matter that much for the initial burst shooting, because seven seconds at full speed, or let's say you're shooting with just nine frames per second, a little reduced speed with the mechanical shutter, you can shoot even longer sessions. So that's quite okay, but once the card or the buffer is full, it will take some time, as you can see here, for the memory card. And yeah, we are still yeah, saving images after image after image after image. So the memory card controller itself could be a bit faster, in absolute figures is about uh, 110 megabytes per second. So yeah, other premium mirrorless cameras are about twice as fast, thinking about Canon, Nikon, Sony, roughly 220-250-ish megabytes per second, so that's much faster. But as you can see, we are finished and yeah, as mentioned, about a minute it took. So let me test another card this time from Sabrent. Yeah, please focus. It's the Rocket V60. The card is about, I don't know, five times less expensive than the Sony. And I will do the same test again. So 200 images in a row and the camera is now finished. And the good thing is, because the memory card controller isn't too fast, the speed of the memory card doesn't matter too much. In fact, in our test, the Rocket V60 was about as fast as the Sony Tough G series, so minus one, minus two percent in performance. That doesn't matter at all, so you can feel the difference. Maybe it's a second in yeah, a minute, minute saving time, so not a real difference. Yeah, let me open up the lid again so you can follow the progress. Therefore, there are a couple of memory cards I would recommend. It's not a Sony TUF G series, not a SanDisk Extreme 300 megabytes per second, all that they are really high-end UHS-2 SD cards. No, but choose some better V60 UHS-2 memory cards like the Rocket V60 series or here in this case from Angelbird V60 Mark II series or the also very reasonably priced Lexer 1800X. All of those cards are quite okay. And as you can see, it's already finished on the Rocket V60 series. So to make it short, if you wanna see all results and hourly updated price performance recommendations, check out the link in the video description below. There you can find all roughly 40 memory cards we tested exclusively with the brand new Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. And if you want to have a little bit more convenience in terms of clicking on the info card and not scrolling down to the section below, please leave a thumbs up and especially a subscription because once we hit the 1000 subscriber threshold, will be allowed to yeah, link with the info cards to external websites. So please do, your, do yourself a favor and subscribe for this channel.
But I know maybe most of you won't feel too much still images with the Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. Instead, you're going to for the brand new and really, really good, trust me, video autofocus in the S5 Mark II. So therefore, you're more interested into video instead of yeah, still images, which memory card to get. Thankfully, the Lumix S5 Mark II isn't too greedy in that way either. The camera shoots with maximum 200 megabits per second. So actually an V30 or U3 class memory card is totally fine. That's almost any card you can get, but I would still recommend buying at least an V60 UHS-2 memory card. Why? Because it's usually much faster in the readout on your PC, Mac, whatever let's say roughly 200 up to 300 megabytes per second instead of yeah just 100 megabytes per second so if you're shooting a lot of video in terms of a couple of hours whatsoever it will take some time to save all the stuff on your pc if you're buying in two slow memory card so still my recommendations mid-class uhs2 memory cards that's a good way to go in terms of price performance but also in terms of absolute performance so you're good to go and want to pre-order your brand new Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II or you're watching this video in the hopefully much better future and just want to buy a memory card, check out the links in the video description below. And as already mentioned, please yeah, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new video on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.